Hello, I'm Mr Duncan and I'm the Early Years Lead and a member of the Senior Leadership Team here at Malmesbury Primary School. Uh, I am so excited about meeting you all and getting to know you all in September. Uh, I have a daughter, she's 15 years old and she's lots of fun. And in my spare time I like playing musical instruments and writing stories and cooking. I love cooking. Hello, my name is Mrs Driver and I'm one of the Early Years teachers here at Malmesbury Primary School. I am really looking forward to getting to know you and your child in September. Um, I am married to Mr Driver and I have two children, um, Ella and Lucy, one of which um, came to the school here. And in my spare time I love to cook, um, bake cakes and go sailing. This is an exciting new phase in your child's life and the beginning of a new journey. Over the course of this presentation, we hope to answer any questions that you may have. The purpose of this presentation is to welcome you all to Malmesbury Primary School and introduce ourselves to you. It's also an opportunity for us to give you some general information about the school, the team and what happens during a school day in order to make the transition into school as smooth and seamless as possible. The good news is that you've been sent an information pack, so there is no need to take any notes. There will be a teacher in each class who will be supported by two teaching assistants. Our school celebrates and promotes Christian-based values, which are displayed prominently in the hall and in all of our classrooms. These values underpin the way that we teach and learn. Indeed, all of these values are interwoven through everything that we teach. So often, I get told by parents that, when asked what they did all day, their children say, I just played. This may well be true, and if the children think this, then that means we are doing our jobs well. Clever us. This is because we use fun as the Trojan horse through which we smuggle learning, both in adult-initiated and child-led tasks. In play, children are encouraged to express themselves freely and can acquire adaptability and learn new skills. Play is essential to every child's development in that good play experiences as a child turn you into a well-balanced grown-up and prepare you with the essential life skills needed. We choose specific bespoke play activities to support particular aspects of the children's learning and we can support and assess against the various criteria in the framework by observing the children at play. And Mrs Driver will now tell you a bit about this framework. Each area of learning in early years is interlinked. In the early years foundation stage curriculum, there are various areas of learning divided into subjects and three very distinct but interconnected areas of characteristics of learning. The characteristics describe the unique child, by which we mean that they inform us of how each individual child learns. These are playing and learning. Children investigate and experience things and are willing to have a go. Active learning, where children concentrate and keep on trying when they encounter difficulties and enjoy their achievements. And thirdly, creating and thinking critically. Children have and develop their own ideas, are able to make links between ideas and develop a range of strategies for doing things. In early years, we give the children a very broad provision of different learning opportunities that cater for all the different ways in which children learn. Among the areas of learning that Mrs Driver referred to are those grouped under the prime areas of communication and language, physical development and personal, social and emotional development, which is often referred to as PSED. These areas are the building blocks and they interlink and support with the other areas of learning. In fact, they are known as the prime areas because the perceived wisdom is that children need to develop these skills before they can fully access the rest of the curriculum. 
We have loads of strategies and experiences to enable the children to excel in these areas, such as circle time, learning communication and social skills through play, questioning, story time and hot seating. We also develop fine motor skills, gross motor skills and health and self-care in a variety of fun and differentiated ways, depending on the children. PSED is all about self-confidence and awareness, managing behaviour and needs in an appropriate way and making relationships. Developing these skills will help them to relate well to other children and adults, make friends and get on with others, feel secure and valued, explore and learn confidently, and ultimately to feel good about themselves. And we all like that feeling. And so now we come to the specific areas of learning. Literacy. Literacy covers reading and writing. And to get the children started on this journey, we use Jolly Phonics. This is a fun, creative, systematic and progressive programme that introduces the children to the different sounds that form the building blocks of reading and writing. We will be hosting an information evening specifically about phonics, reading and writing as soon as we are able in the new academic year. Mathematics covers the development of number skills and encourages children to spot these all-important numerical patterns. Understanding the world is all about people and communities, culture and the natural world and encompasses science, history, geography, nature and ICT. Expressive arts and design is where we give the children the free reign to explore their creative skills. Every term, the children will investigate a new topic and will encourage with a huge range of different topic activities that help them develop their skills in all of these areas. In the first terms, we encourage parents to help children settle into the routines of school. We encourage parents to bring their children into the classroom. Once they have arrived in the classroom, we ask the children to self-register by finding a ladybird or a lollipop stick with their name on it and placing it into a box. This will be available when the children come for their visits. At 9am, we would like the parents to say goodbye. Children will then come to the carpet for the register. To help your child, a quick goodbye is much better than prolonging any anxieties children have. It may seem hard at the time, and believe me, I have been through it too, to leave your child in tears, but almost always the child calms down quickly once the parent has gone. It tends to be us parents who carry the guilt and anxiety around with us all day, while the children canter happily about the setting, learning and making friends. The TAs we have here are there to support the children, and they are very experienced in helping the children in this part of their journey. We do encourage that parents opt in for a hot school meal. After extensive research, I can personally vouch for their deliciousness. We hope to be able to hold a school dinner sampling evening early in the new term, to which parents and children alike are invited. It is a veritable feast. Each of you will have received a pack by email. It contains all the essential dates and information for settling your child into school. This pack contains a general information booklet, contact information forms, health questionnaire, milk forms and information on our uniform. Normally, your child would be invited to three transition visits before the end of this academic year. However, due to the COVID-19 outbreak, this is not possible. So instead, we're going to use the opening week of the new school year in September as your child's transition. For the early years foundation stage children starting at Monsbury C of E Primary School, the first three weeks in the September term are mornings only. This will be your child's opportunity to meet their teachers and all of the fantastic teaching assistants. 
they will also catch up with their friends and start to make new ones too. Also, importantly, they will have the chance, in a relaxed way, to start to find their way around the classroom that will become their home from home. From the second week, the whole classes will attend for the morning sessions. The third week is also morning sessions, plus the children will be staying for lunch. Dates for when your children will be attending the taster days in the first week of September are in your starter pack and you will be sent a letter confirming these and which class your child will be in. In the meantime, Mr Duncan and I have made a little film with a tour of the school showing the children what an exciting place it is and meeting some of the key people at the school. The YouTube link for this is in your information pack. As with so much of their learning and development, we are working in tandem with you. When your child comes to school, it would be lovely if they could already be familiar with the concepts of turn-taking and of waiting. Good old deferred gratification is a powerful thing. It is really important that your child is comfortable and confident about using the toilet by the time they start school. And a few lessons in the doing up of zips and the donning of jackets and gloves would be really helpful. Using a knife and fork to cut up their own food will be a really helpful thing to do. And some practice of carrying their food to the table would be brilliant. Though I know from experience how that sometimes ends up. And of course, as we imagine you do already, nothing helps a child learn more than talk. Talking with them every day, sharing and reading words and numbers that are in the environment around them, like shop names and speed limits, is invaluable. And also, sharing books with your child is a magical and hugely influential activity to carry out, as is singing and rhyming together. And of course, talk positively about school, and perhaps even do some practice journeys to school in August so that your child is familiar with it. We do appreciate that in particular summer-born children, by which we mean those born after the 31st of March, who start school soon after turning four, may need extra sensitivity and flexibility to help them settle in. If there is anything that you think might help your child to settle in, suggest it to your class teacher. After all, you know your child best. And we are all working in partnership to give your children the very best possible start to their education. And while we're on the subject of working in tandem, the good old homeschool partnership, if, from September, any of you could spend a morning or an afternoon here or there to listen to readers, that would be utterly marvellous. That concludes our little presentation. If any of you have any particular questions we will be holding one-to-one -one consultations with parents in September either by phone or face-to-face -face, depending on what restrictions are in place by then. Please feel free to get in touch before then with any other pressing inquiries.